securing it. Henry, you can actually uh, explain what I'm doing. So far, he's, he's uh, got the shaft, he's tipped it, he's abraded the tip, which is removing the paint. He has now got it in the curing cell where that is uh, curing our, our glue in two and a half minutes. I'm putting this on standard for you. Starting off the logo in the back on standard. All right, who's the last guy? Me. Phil. Phil, that's you. And what group are you doing? A white, black decade? Please. 58 or 60? 12 58. You lived around. Where you should just have a 12 in the S driver. Wraps? Starting up the ground. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 70. Then you guys can see all the latest and greatest. Uh, down. All right. Probably the best five wood on the market. Is that all the ferry woods? <coughs> Wait, have you built any of the slider S for the guys? Uh, yes. It's been a uh, great product so far for them. All our different off rescues. Yeah, we were most busy doing irons. The new irons and the new wedges are really kicking off. So here, as you can see, last week we uh, pretty much went through all our our driver stock. We don't use too many of uh, the lower lofted ones anymore. The eight degree, I, I stocked this truck with uh, nine degree heads and Palm Springs, and I still have a full door of them. <laughs> Got a loft up. 430s all over here. It's been good. It's been a uh, Good year as expected. How many 430s do you build for every 460 you build? Probably three to one. Yeah, more no. 460s? More 460s. It's very easy to give the guy one shaft and two heads. <clears throat> so now he'll take the shaft out of there, he'll clean any excess epoxy that might have come out of the, the tip there. So I'm just gonna, it's hot right now. You never want to attach it when it's hot because you'll melt the. Bottom. We're gonna start this one on standard. And Zach, you were standard length. Yes, sir. Correct. Go ahead and mark it. Cut the shaft. So we're good to go. Last thing to do is to grip it and swim weight it. And you said no. Upside down? No, no. We'll go up. We'll go up. So we'll go ahead and apply our grip tape. Put our solvent on. Thank you. I use pretty quick drying stuff, so I got to make sure I lubricate it. It's probably Dustin or Sergio calling me. <laughs> Let's turn that off. Let's get to them later. Always make sure the grip seats. <clears throat> Pretty good at putting on grips, so. You've done a few. Done a few. First job of telling me was to grip 800 golf clubs a day on the production <laughs> floor, three bucks an hour. Now I still grip 800 golf clubs a day. So I'm right. It's D2, hot mouth. No, I only got to put like four grams in it. Okay. So either 
top mount or just the foreground plug? You pay. Why, if you want it to be deader than the top mount? Guys like the way these sound with no hot mount. Okay, that'd be cool. Leave your option open, really. I mean, I prefer not to put it at first. And like after you hit it, you want a little different ball flight out of it, you can manipulate it with a little bit of hot mount. So that's why that's kind of nice to have that little hole in there. You put a little bit in the heel, pick that, that uh, weight a little higher, or move it to the toe. You then, you know, kind of same way that the slide works. Uh -huh. You got with the hot mount. Take that stick out. About five minutes. Kind of manipulate you got the ball flight done for Zach. Right it off, getting the head cover, off to the range. Thanks, Wade. Yeah, that's awesome.